Hi, my name is Frederick Holland, and I'm here at the Musicians Institute in Hollywood. And today I'm going to talk about some chord movements that I like to use in my playing. And this can be very uh, useful to use in soloing and rhythm guitar. So I'm basically going to talk about using two chords, the one major and two minor. So check it out. I'm going to be in the key of D major. So I'm going to play D major and E minor. Those are the two chords I'm going to be playing. Now, I want to keep ascending the scale, so I'm going to have to play different inversions. The next inversion is going to be D major again, but uh, with a first inversion. Then E minor, first inversion. D major, second inversion. E minor, second inversion. And then we're back to reposition, just an octave higher. And obviously, you can keep going. You know. Um, now, that sounds pretty cool, but like there's a lot of different techniques we can use to make it sound a little more interesting and what I like to do is to add some slide to it and hammer-ons and pull-offs so we can take this first D major triad here we can slide it up to, say, to the E minor like that the next one this one's a little harder you kind of have to slide up and hammer-on at the same time so when you just hammer-on it's pretty simple and that's yeah, the last one and then on the way down, it can be a little, it's a little awkward when we're sliding back down to the E minor, kind of have to use this awkward fingering, but it looks like this. And then we play D major there, and we slide up now to the E minor uh, first immersion. And then uh, D major first immersion, and then we play this one, uh, E minor reposition, and then we slide back down to D major. So, I mean, we can all, just by playing it right up and down like that, we can make a riff out of that. Um, for instance, I could say if we do it in time, it could be something like this, like three, four. Two, three, four. Like that. Um, other things you can do is to add extensions, like the seventh and the ninth, depending on what top melody you want or the top note. Uh, like here's another one, kind of cool one. It goes like this. So basically, I'm playing a E minor seven with G on top, and I'm hammering on to A, and I play the E minor seven again, and I play E minor seven with E on top here, and I hammer on to the F sharp to the ninth, and I play the D. So you can play it everywhere. Oh yeah. Uh, um, now another thing you can maybe add a little some some single stuff some melody to make it kind of interesting so you can build into it something like So that's it for this lesson. Um, hopefully you guys can take some of these techniques and uh, use it in your own playing. Uh, so thank you so much for watching and I'm sure I'll see you next time.